Hey everybody, welcome to this week's episode of Coffee and Conversations. Uh, my name's Jerry. Unfortunately, Jamie won't be joining us today. Uh, we've both been fighting off the flu for the past week, week and a half, and uh, it's still got Jamie pretty good. Uh, it's basically all in her throat uh, and in her chest, so she sounds like Kermit the Frog at the moment. Uh, I didn't really think she needed to be irritated with that. So uh, you're stuck with me this week. So this is going to be a quick uh, coffee and conversation, but we are going to get rolling here. So thanks for tuning in. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about the great Ozark Escape. So April 17th through the 19th, it's the event that Jamie and I are putting on uh, in Eureka Springs, Arkansas. Uh, it is an MSTA just for fun event. However, any club or any group of motorcycles can participate. I know there's a bunch of people coming from uh, Dallas, uh, a bunch of people coming from Two World Texans, the North Dallas BMW, Lone Star uh, Riders Association. So there's a bunch of people coming, including those of us from the MSTA. So again, it's not a club affiliation. It's just something to do and have fun. It's what motorcycling is supposed to be about, right? So the event's going to run Friday, Saturday, uh, Friday and Saturday. Those are the official two days. However, I do know on Thursday, a lot of people are riding in. So I have a route plan for Friday, 300 miles. It's going to be a long day. But uh, for those of you who want to participate uh, on Friday, uh, just check out the website. You should have all the starting point. We're going to eat breakfast at about a place about an hour outside of Eureka Springs and then just kind of go from there. Uh, we will be having some people staying here at the house. So we'll join at the restaurant. So we'll all get together and then do the ride from there. Uh, again, that ride, I figure we won't have as big a group just because uh, it's on Friday and a lot of people will be coming in for that. Saturday, I anticipate a much bigger crowd. Uh, everybody should be there. And the reason I'm anticipating a bigger crowd is, believe it or not, folks, we have 29 bikes signed up as of, this, as of today. We're 54 days away from the event and 29 bikes are signed up, 35 people. So people are bringing their pillions and uh, going to be riding two up like Jamie and I. Or they're going to have their uh, own bikes. So really looking forward to this event. It's going to be fantastic. Uh, I've got dinner. I'm nailing down the last dinner place on Saturday. So I'll be announcing that sometime here soon. Had to change locations because of how many people are coming. But that's, a, that's always a good thing to, uh, to discuss. Uh, one of the other things I do want... Oh, hey, you can still book a room. It's just they don't have them held, but you can still use the group number. So please make sure you use that so they can kind of get everybody together. So if you haven't booked your room, go, go do that quickly. Go again on the website, uh, motoadrenalinetours.com. You can click on the ride events and you'll see the Ozark Great Escape right there. I'll put the links down below and all that too. So with that being said, with this many people, I want to talk about the group riding aspect of this. Uh, I don't know about you guys. Actually, I do know about 90% of you guys. And I know that nobody wants to ride in a parade and do 15, 20, 25 bikes in a row. So we're not going to do that. We don't do that. Um, so what I'm envisioning is people will break off uh, five to eight bikes at a time, kind of do the route backwards, do the route faster than others, do the route slower than others, uh, smell the roses, take multiple stops. So there's going to be, the groups will be broke up. So please don't be... Uh, gun shy about coming nobody's going to be riding 30 in a group uh doing the parade route thing we're just we're just not going to be doing that it's not safe it's not fun and uh we want to make sure everybody's having some fun with that being said about fun it's the first ride of the year so i really want to make sure everybody's careful when they come up here so some of the roads will still be a little sandy from the weather uh leaves that sort of thing so really please be careful we don't want anybody coming up here Look, Arkansas is a great place to ride, and up in Missouri is a fantastic place to ride, but it is twisty, and for those of you who are in Texas and Louisiana and other places who aren't used to that, um, or haven't ridden a lot in the twisties this year because the riding season has just started, uh, please keep that in mind just to be careful while we're doing that. So we want everybody to go home the same way they came in, right, with a good smile. I'm really looking forward to this event. This event, is, to me, is what motorcycle events should be, right? So... Everybody gets together, we have some beer, we kick, you know, kick tires, uh, enjoy some uh, camaraderie, is that a word? We enjoy some fellowship, that sort of thing, and then we go ride. And so I'm really looking forward to this. I don't, you know, again, we could care less what you're riding, 
who you ride with. Uh, everybody just wants to come and have some fun. So really looking forward to that. April 17th through the 19th, you can still sign up. 54 days to go. So if you're seeing this and it's something that interests you, shoot me a note. Uh, make sure you go to the website. Uh, again, MotoAdrenalineTours.com. You'll see the link for the Ozark Great Escape. It's a free event. doesn't cost anything. Uh, it's just, uh, just for you to get there and have some fun. Next thing I want to talk about is Jamie and I are going to be heading to West Virginia in June and going for 10 days. And it uh, looks like we're going to leave on the 5th, I think it is, because we're going to stop in Cape Girardeau and do the MSTA Star Rally for two days before and then head over to West Virginia. Um, one of the reasons we chose West Virginia is never really ridden there that much. Uh, there's some great riding from everything I've seen from people on YouTube and talking to people. Um, Actually, Two World Rider lives in uh, West Virginia, and he's really hooking us up with some routes, and kind of he's going to go over some of our routes, make sure we're going the right places. Hopefully, we get to hook up with them while we're there. Um, and then one of the other reasons we're going there is uh, I want to do a little Civil War battlefield tour. So we'll be hitting Harper's Ferry, Gettysburg, and Tatum if we got a chance. So uh, really looking forward to that. But the reason I'm mentioning that is if uh, a if you're going to be around the first week of June and you want to join us, shoot us a note, and we'll see if we can hook up around there. Uh, also, if you've ridden in West Virginia and you know some cool places to go, shoot us another note. We uh, would love to, you know, places to eat, uh, sightseeing places, great roads, right? So if you guys have anything that can help us with that, we would greatly appreciate it. And then the last thing we want to talk about is, uh, man, I hope the weather's getting better, right? So a couple weeks ago, road put a thousand miles on the bike for the weekend. And then since then, it has been downright cold. So I'm hoping the weather's going to break. Uh, we really want good weather for uh, April. Uh, again, it's hit and miss sometimes. Last year, the weather was fabulous. Year before, we had one day of rain. Then the next day was fabulous. So uh, really hoping for good weather thoughts. Hoping that we start getting out of the 40s. Um, again, I know some of you back east and stuff, you wish you had 40s. Uh, but again, uh, really looking forward to where we have, we can string some multiple days together where we can do some riding. So uh, this week's episode is going to be short and sweet. So again, thank you for uh, checking in on Coffee and Conversation. We're getting to the point where we're going to get out of the Coffee and Conversation and we're going to get more into riding. Uh, we'll be able to do stuff out on the road. Be a little more exciting than just looking at my mug, I would think. So uh, going forward, again, thank you guys for checking in with us. Thanks for subscribing, 118 subscribers right now. If you do like what you see, hit the button down below, smash the bell, do all that YouTube stuff. Really do appreciate it. And, um, and then the last thing, I, uh, I'm contemplating doing a podcast. Uh, I have a lot of opinions when it comes to motorcycles and everything about motorcycling. And I've had some people say, hey, you should probably do a little blurb and Maybe do that every bi-weekly, just get some thoughts on people. So Jamie and I have thought about doing that. Um, we're looking into it. Actually, I bought a mic and kind of played around with software and that sort of thing. But uh, just tell us your thoughts. Um, if you think it's a good idea, say yay. If you think it's a bad idea, say, say that too. You're not going to hurt our feelings. We haven't invested a lot of money, so it's not a big deal. So again, everybody, thanks for checking in. Uh, I'll talk to you all soon. Until we see each other next time, ride safe. Thanks, everybody.